Hi all. I wanted to read for you the Bible in the New King James Version. As you can see here, this one, Holy Bible, NKJV, Words of Jesus in Red, Dictionary Concordance, that will be read out at the end with, well, yeah. So, let's start. Romans, ch Romans chapter 3. It says, What advantage then has the Jew, or what is the profit of circumcision? V2, much in every way, chiefly because to them were com committed the, or the oracles of God. V3, for what if some did not believe? Will their unbelief make the fullness of God without effect? V4. Certainly not. Indeed, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it, as it is written, w that you may be justified in your, wor in your words and may overcome when you are judged yeah v5 but if your sorry if if our unrighteousness demonstrates the righteousness of god what shall we say is God unjust who who inflicts wrath I speak open bracket I speak as a man close bracket v6 certainly not for then how will God judge the world v7 for if the truth of God has has increased through my lie to his glory why am I also still judged as a sinner? V8 And why not say Let us do evil that God Sorry, evil that good may come as We are slanderously reported And as some of affirm that we say Their condemnation is just V9 what then are we better than than they not at all for we have previously charged both Jews and J and Greeks that they are all under sin v10 as it is written there is none righteous no no not one v11 there is none who understands there is none who seeks after god v12 they have all turned turned aside they have together become unprofitable there is none who does good no not one v13 their throat is an open tomb tube with their tongues they have pra practiced deceit the the position sorry the the poison of asps is under their lips v14 whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness v15 their feet are swift to shed blood v16 destruction and misery are in their ways v17 
and the way of peace they have not known. V18 There is no fear of God before their eyes. V19 Now we know we know that whatever the law says it says to those who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may be become sorry may become guilty before God V20 therefore by the by the deeds of the law no flesh will will be justified in his sight for by the law is the knowledge of sin v 21 but now the righteous sorry the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed being witnessed being witnessed by the law and the prophets v22 even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ to all and and on all who believe for there is no difference v23 for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God v24 v being justified freely by his grace through the redemption redemption that is in Christ Jesus v25 whom God set forth as a pro 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 Propriation, propriation by his blood through through faith to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance God has passed over the sins that were previously committed v26 to to demonstrate at the at the present time his right righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus v27 where is boasting then is it is it is it excluded by what law of works no but by the law of faith v20 v28 therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law v29 or is he the good of the of the Jews only v sorry 12 sorry is he not also the God of the Gentiles v sorry yes of the Gentiles also v 30 since there is one God who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through through faith v31 do you then make void the law through faith certainly not on the contrary we establish we establish the law and chapter Romans chapter 4 what then shall we say that Abraham our father 
as found according to the to the flesh v2 for if Abraham was justified by works he has something to boast about but 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 not before God v3 for what does the does the scripture say Abraham be believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness v4 now to him who works the wages are not counted as grace but as debt v5 but to him who does not work but believes on him who justifies the ungodly his faith is accounted for righteousness looking back at that sorry so moving on v6 just as David also describes the blessed blessedness of the man to whom God impu imputes righteousness apart from works v7 blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose t and whose sins are covered v8 blessed is the man whom the lord shall not impute impute sin v9 sorry v9 does this blessedness then come upon the circumcised only or or up or, or upon this un upon the uncircumcised also for we say that faith was accounted to Abraham for righteousness v10 how then was it accounted while he was circumcised or, circ or uncircumcised not while circumcised but while uncircumcised v11 and he received the sign of circumcision a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had while still circumcised that he might be the be the father of all those who believe through sorry though they are uncircumcised that righteousness might be imputed to them also v12 and the and the father of circumcision to those who not sorry to those who not only are of the circumcision but who also walk in the steps of the faith which our father Abraham Abraham had while still uncircumcised v13 for the for the promise that he would be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his de or, or to his seed through the law but through the righteousness of faith v14 for if for if those who are of the law are his faith sorry faith is made void and the pro and the promise made of no effect v15 because 
the law brings about wrath for where there is no law there is no transgression transgression v16 therefore it is of faith that it might be account accounting to grace so that the promise might be sure to all the the seed not only to those who are of the law but also to those who are of of the faith of Abraham v sorry who is the father of us all v17 open bracket as it is written I have made you a you a father of many nations close bracket in in the in the in the presence of him whom he believed God who gives life to the dead and calls though and calls those things which do not exist as though they did v18 who contrary to hope in hope believed so that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken so shall your descendants be v19 and not being weak in faith he did not consider his own body already dead open bracket since he was about a hundred years old close bracket and the and the and the deadness of sarah sarah's womb v20 he did not waver at the promise of god through unbelief but was strengthened in faith giving glory to god v21 and being fully convinced that what he had promised he was also able he was he was also able to perform v22 and therefore it was accounted to him for righteousness v23 now it was not written for his sake alone that it was um, impu that 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 it was imputed to him v24 but also for us it shall be imputed to us who to us who believe in him who raised up jesus our lord from the dead v25 who was delivered up because of our because of our offenses and was raised because of our because of our justification v sorry chapter romans chapter 5 therefore having been justified by faith we have have peace with god through our lord jesus christ v2 through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of god v3 and not only that but we we also glory in tribulations knowing that tribulation tribulation produces perseverance v4 and perseverance character and character hope v5 now hope does not disappoint because the love of god has been poured out in our hearts by the holy spirit who who was given to us v6 
for when we were still without strength in due time Christ died for the ungodly v7 for sick for for scarce for scare for scarcely for a righteous ma righteous man will one die yet perhaps for a good man someone would even dare to die v8 but god demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners christ died for us v9 much more than having now been justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him v10 for if when we were in enemies we were con 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 we were we were reconciled to god through the death of his son much more having been reconciled 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 we shall be saved by his life v11 and not only that but we also rejoice in god through our lord jesus christ through whom we have have now received the reconcili reconcili reconciliation v12 therefore just as through one man sin entered the world and death through sin and thus death spread to all men because of because all sinned v13 open bracket for until the law sin was the was the, what sin was in the world but sin is not imputed when there is now law v sorry when there is no law v14 nevertheless death re reigned from adam to moses even over those who had not not sinned according to the to the likeness of the of the of the trans transgression of adam who is a type of him who was to come v15 but the free gift is not like the offense for if by the one who by by the one man's offense many died much more much more the grace of god and the gift by the by the by the grace of the one man jesus christ abounded to many v16 and the gift is not like that which came through the one who sinned for the judgment which came from the the which came sorry which came from one offense resulted in condemnation but the free gift which came from many offenses resulted in justification v17 for if by the one man's offense death re death reigned through f through the one much more those who receive receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one jesus christ close bracket wow that's a long bracket um v18 therefore 
as though one man's offense judgment came to all men resulting in condemnation even so through one man's righteous act the free gift came to all men resulting in justification of life v19 for as by the as by by one man's disobedience many were made sinners so also by one man's obedience many will be made righteous amen S that's not in there as you know if you're reading along v20 moreover the law entered that the offense might abound but where sin abounded grace abounded much more v21 also so that as sin reigned in death even so grace might reign through righteousness to eternal life through G through Jesus Christ our Lord Chap Roman Romans chapter 6 what shall we say then shall we continue in sin that grace may abound v2 certainly not how shall we who died in died to sin die to sin live any longer in in it v3 or do you know sorry or do you do you, or do you not know that as many of us many of us as we sorry as were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death v4 therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death that just as Christ was raised from the death by the glory of, of the Father even so we also should walk in new, newness of, of life v5 for if we have been united together in the likeness of his of his death certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection v6 knowing knowing this that our that our old man was was crucified with with him that the body of sin might be done away with with that we should no longer be slaves of sin v7 for he who dies sorry for he who for he who has died has been freed from sin v8 now if we died with Christ we believe that we shall also live with him v9 knowing that Christ having been raised from the dead dies no more with no longer no longer has no long no longer has has dominion over him v10 for for the death death that he died he died in in sorry he died to it sorry he died to to sin once for all but the life that he lives he lives to God testing testing one two three testing sorry I just 
test the microphone. V11, likewise, you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. V12, therefore do not let sin reign in your, in your mortal body that you should obey it, obey it in its lusts. V13, and do not pre do, do not do not present your members as instru instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God at, to God as being alive from from the dead, and your your members as instruments of righteousness to God. V14 For sin shall not, ha not have dominion over, over you, for you are not under law but under grace. V15 What, what then shall we sin because we are not under law but under grace certainly not v16 do you know sorry do you not know that to whom you pre you you whom you pre sorry who whom whom you present yourselves slaves to obey you are obey obey you are that one's slaves let me read that again do you not know that to whom you you present yourselves as slaves to obey you are that one's slaves whom you obey whether of sin sin leading to death or of obedience le leading to righteousness v17 but god be thank thanked but sorry but god be thanked that though you were slaves of sin yet you obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine to wi to which you were delivered 18, v18 and having been set free from sin you become you became slaves of righteousness v19 i speak in human terms because of the weakness of our flesh for just as you you presented your your members of members as slaves of on of slaves of unclean clean cleanness and of lawlessness leading to more lawlessness so now present your 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 members now so now present your members as slaves of righteousness for for holy holiness v20 for when you were slaves of sin you were free in in regard to righteousness v21 what fruit did you have then in the in the things of which you are now ashamed ashamed for the end of those things in death v22 but now having been set free from sin and having become slaves of god you have you have your fruit to to holiness and the end everlasting life v23 
for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord <laughs> Romans chapter 7 or do you not know brethren open bracket for I speak to those who who know the law close bracket that the law has has dominion over a man as long as he lives v2 for the woman who has a husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as he lives but if the husband dies she is released from the law of her husband v3 so then if while her husband lives she marries another man she will be she she will be called an an adulter adulter adulteress but if her husband dies she is free from that law so that she is no adulter adulteress adulteress adulterous though she has married another man v4 therefore my brethren you also have become dead dead to the law through the body of Christ that you may be married to another to him who was re to him who to him who was raised from the dead that we should bear fruit to God v5 for when we sorry for when we were for when we were in the in the flesh the sinful passions which were aroused by the law were at work in our mem in our members to bear fruit to death v6 but now we have been delivered from the law having died to what we were held by so that we should 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 serve in the newness of the spirit and not in the old oldness of the of the letter v7 what shall we say then is the law sin certainly not on the on the contrary i would i would not have known known sin except through the law for i would not have known covet covetousness unless the law had said you shall not not covet v8 but sin taking opportunity by the commandment produced in me all manner of evil desire for apart from the law sin was dead v9 I was alive once without the law but when the commandment came sin revived and I died v10 and the commandment which was to bring life I found I found to bring death v11 for sin taking a call occasion by the by the commandment deceived me and by it killed killed me v12 therefore the law is holy and the and the commandment holy and just and good v13 has then what what is good become death to me certainly not but sin that that it might 
a piercing was producing death in me through what is good so that sin through the commandment might might become exceedingly sinful v14 for we know that the law is spiritual but I am car carnal sold, sold under sin v v15 for what I am doing I do not understand for what I will do sorry for what I will do for what I will for what sorry for what I will I will to do I will to do that I do not practice but what I but what I hate that I do v16 if then I do I do what I will not to do I agree with the law that it is good v17 but now it is no longer I who do it but sin that that dwells in me v18 for I know that in me open bracket that is in my flesh close bracket nothing good dwells for to will for for to will is present with me but how to perform what but who sorry let me read that again but how to but how to perform what is good I do not find v19 for the good that I will do I do not do I do not do but the evil I will not do that I practice v20 now if I do what I will not do it is no longer I who do it but sin that dwells in me v21 I find then a law that evil is present with me the one who the one who wills the one who wills to do good v22 for I del for I delight in the law of God according to the inward man but v23 but I see another law in my in my members warring against the law of 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 my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my which is in my members v24 a, a wretched man that I am who will deliver me from this body of death v25 I thank God through through Jesus Christ our Lord so then with the with the with the mind I, my, I myself serve the law of God but with the flesh the law of sin v8 sorry that's a big mistake um basically it's Romans chapter 8 the last one for this video therefore sorry th there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit v2 for the law of the spirit of life is Christ Jesus is Christ Jesus is Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death v3 for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh God did by sending his his own son in the in the likeness of sinful flesh and 
an account sorry on account of sin he condemned sin in 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 the flesh in the flesh before that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit v5 for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the on the things of the flesh but those who live according to the spirit the things of the spirit v6 for to be carnally minded carnally minded in it, sorry let me read that again for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace v7 because the carnal mind is en 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 enmity, enmity against god for it is not a for it is not subject to the law of god nor indeed can be v8 so then those who are in the flesh cannot please God v9 but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you now if anything sorry now if anyone does not does not have have the spirit of Christ he is not his he is not not his v10 and if christ is n and if and if christ is in you the body is dead because because of because of sin but the spirit is life life because of the righteousness v11 but if the spirit of him who raised Jesus Jesus from the dead dwells in you he who raised Christ from from the the dead will also gi will, will also give life to your mortal bodies through his his spirit who dwells in you v12 therefore brethren we are we we are debtors debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh v13 for if you live according to the flesh you will die but if you sorry but if but if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body who sorry body death summary again but if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the of the body you will uh, sorry you will live summary that again but if you if if by the spirit you put put to death the deeds of the body you will live v14 for as many as are led by the by the spirit of god these are sons of god v4 v15 for you di for you did not receive the spirit of, of of bondage again to fear but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out abba father v16 the spirit himself bear, bears witness with our spirit with with our with our spirit that we are children of god v17 and if children then 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 hears then, then sorry then heirs heirs of god and joint heirs with Christ if indeed we suffer with him that we may 
also be glorified together glorified together V18 for for I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in in us v19 for the earn earn it for the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of god v20 for the creation who sorry for the for the creation was subjected to f to f Futility, not willing, not willing, willingly, willingly, but because of him who subject subjected it in hope. V twenty one, because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. V twenty two, for we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pain pangs well to me that looks like birth pains but it says pangs <coughs> it says whole creation groans and and labors labors with birth pangs together until now v23 not only that but we also who have the first fruits of the spirit even we ourselves grown within ourselves eagerly waiting for the for the adoption the the redemption of our body v24 for we were saved in in his in sorry saved in this hope but hope that is seen is not hope for why why does one still hope for what is see what what he sees v25 but if we hope for what we do not see we we eagerly eagerly wait for it with perseverance v26 likewise the spirit also helps in our weakness for we do not know what we would sorry for we for we do not sorry for we do not know what we should we should pray for as we ought but the spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings groanings which cannot be uttered v27 now he oh, now he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the spirit is because we but because he makes intercessions for the for intercessions for for the for the saints according to the according to the according to the will of god v28 and we know that all things work together for good to those who love god to those who are the called to those who are to those who are sorry to those who are are the called according to the, to his purpose v29 for whom he he for for new he also predict predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he might be the firstborn among many many brethren v30 moreover whom he predi pre predestined these he also called whom he called these he also justified and whom he justified 
these he also he he just sorry he justified he he justified these he also glorified v thirty one what then shall we say to these things if God is for us who can be against us v thirty two he who did not spare his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall how shall he not he sorry how shall he not sorry again how shall he not with him also freely give us all things v thirty three who shall bring a bring a bring a charge against God's God's elect? It is God who justifies. V thirty four. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and therefore and sorry and further furthermore is also risen. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also makes intercession for us v thirty five who shall who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribul shall tribulation or distress or perse or perse or persecution persecution or fam or famine or famine or sicknesses or sicknesses or or peril or sword v v thirty six as it as it is as as it is written for your for your sake we are killed all day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter v thirty seven yet in all the Sorry, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through through him who loved us v thirty eight for I am persic for for I am persuaded persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things nor things present nor things to come to come v thirty nine nor nor no height nor no nor height nor depth nor any other nor nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus our Lord and that is it yeah sorry to break it there I mean we, it's a full stop anyway so yeah tell you what let me read on a little bit let me read on, read on a tiny tiny bit well from from thirty nine to from thirty nine to Romans nine nine two it says no height nor depth nor any other created things shall shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I tell the truth in Christ I am I am not I am not lying my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have uh, that I have great sorrow and continual grief in my heart yeah I'll stop there I'll read that again anyway on, on chapter 9 that will be Roman, Romans chapter 9 so that's it for this video so yeah Romans chapter 9 is next so God bless take care thumbs up if you've read all of this all the way through so far 
but there's more to come and more interesting things so yeah god bless take care peace be with you bye for now Ciao.